People around the world are asking some hard questions. 51% question whether their children will have better lives than their own. 86% feel institutions have accumulated too much power. 74% express worries about society's basic fairness. To understand why, the authors of the New York Times best-selling book, The Athena Doctrine, spent two years collecting data from 64,000 people worldwide and traveled nearly four times around the globe to interview some of the most leading-edge, innovative men and women. What they discovered was, in a world that's increasingly social, interdependent, and transparent, feminine competencies are ascendant. The most innovative men and women are breaking away from traditional structures to be more flexible, collaborative, and nurturing. People everywhere told us that the future favors feminine ways of thinking. In Iceland, a government marred by financial ruin rebuilds trust with its citizens by creating a new constitution, crowdsourced by the people. In Kenya, citizens report election violence using mobile phones to produce real-time visual maps that help law enforcement. In Peru, a woman fights against indifference to domestic violence by creating her own all-women police force. In this new world, people are deploying feminine thinking and values to make their lives and the world better. We need to think of femininity as innovation and an untapped source of competitive edge that's inside us all. Feminine values are the operating system of the 21st century. The Athena Doctrine has partnered with the UN Foundation's Girl Up Campaign and the Athena Center for Leadership at Bernard College. Proceeds from the book support the Girl Up Campaign. We foster equality and progress when we all think beyond gender. Women and the men who think like them are creating a world we'll all want to inhabit. Join the conversation at athenadoctrine.com.